Hello everyone, this is Dynamation4, and I am back with another Speed Spotlight. This time, we're doing it on Extra Cells by Mega Freak. This mod adds an add-on for X3 for Applied Energistics. So if you don't know what that mod is, or you've never used it before, you should go check out a video on that. Basically, this mod adds more cells and fluids to Applied Energistics. So, we are going to get right into it right away. Just a note, you should already be familiar with some kind of setup like this. This is Applied Energistics. Now to start storing liquids in your system, you're going to need to craft some fluid storage cells. And these can then, the cells can then be upgraded into segments. The segments can be upgraded into uh, blocks, and the blocks can be upgraded into clusters. You make some tanks like this using some quartz glass and a cable. Put three of those tanks, one of the cells, flux dust and two more glass, and you get a fluid storage of whatever size you put in the cell. And this goes right into your ME drive, and it'll store fluids for you. Now this is a tank, you just craft it. They stack vertically, but not horizontally. Take a transition paint, some buckets, some iron, and a covered cable, and you get a fluid transition paint. If you have a storage cell in the system, make sure you do, and you put it down, it will take any liquids in front of it. It will need a block update for something like this, if you wanted to do something like that. But otherwise, placing a liquid in front of it would cause a block update. Then you could take a blast of this ME drive by using cover cable, ME drive, and some obsidian. It'll only hold three cells. It won't have the, the cool GUI in the front, but it will be blast resistant. Then you can make a ME fluid interface by taking interface some buckets, some iron, and some covered cable. And what this thing will do is it'll input or output fluids to various sides depending on what you put into it. So if I were to put, say, a portable tank on top, switch it to output mode, and start putting in some buckets, all those, all that water is going to be pumped right into the system. Or if, for example, I say to put water out to the top and switch this to input mode um, and I were to pump from it, then all this water would then be pumped into it. So I'd actually have to pull out to get that to happen. Um, fluid level emitter. Put it down in your system. Um, you select a fluid to go into it, say water. Then you select a level and you want it to emit if it's above or below. You put that in just like a regular level emitter would. Um, so you have these energy cells, you get you a backup battery, which you put into the system, it'll charge up, you give it redstone signal, and as long as you hold that signal, it'll start charging power. Cut the signal and put it back on, it'll discharge power, and it'll continue to discharge until it's empty, until which point you can charge it again. Like a backup battery. Um, you can make an item drop, an ME item dropper, and this, you right click on it with an item, and it will be bound to that item. So say I were to get some lapis, right click on it. Drop it set to lapis. If I have any lapis in the system, it'll pull it out of the system and drop it. Soldering station made like this. I'll tell you what that's used for later. Um, you can get a ME fluid interface if you want a fluid terminal if you want to use your fluids. So you get a regular ME access terminal, tank, and cable, iron, and this will give you access to all your fluids. plop it down and it'll give you access to your fluids. You could then say this goes in or you could say do that. It's so like you select your item, it'll fill the bucket or it'll empty the bucket. Fluid void, pump fluid into it, it'll make it disappear. You take any um, precision export, import, or storage bus and you do this to it and you'll get the fluid counterpart for it that does the exact same thing for fluids. Get a pattern provider two conversion matrices, two tanks, iron, and you get a fluid crafting chamber. And this is, holds nine patterns that can deal with fluids. So you see right here, um, if I were to get a bucket of water, put it in, you'll see that can craft into salt. But I don't want to have to make buckets of water. So I put this into the fluid crafting chamber, and it will take the water as a liquid instead. So if I were to tell it to craft a salt, it would do that no problem, and it would use up one of my 1,000 millibuckets of water. Level emitter, cobbled cables, glass, get you a fluid storage monitor, and this you bind to a fluid. Like say I were to have a bucket of water, right click on it, can't face any direction, and it'll show you how much you have in your system. Now, larger cells, and this is extra cells, take three clusters and you get a, a kilo cell, Take three kilos here and you get a mega. Three megas make a giga. Three gigas make a tera. A tera makes a 16 mil storage, which holds that much. Um, everything else just divide by four to go down a layer. 
massive, massive storage. Um, three 1K drives and two circuits will get you an adjustable ME storage, and this is what you need the soldering station for. You come over here, you right-click the soldering station with it, and you have to have storage shells and conversion matrices in your inventory to do this. To go up a type, it uses a conversion matrix and it stores an extra type. To go up a storage, it takes a cell. You can see that number going down. And you can take back out of it, but it does have the lower limit that you saw right when I right clicked. You can't go any lower than that. Uh, put a chest with a uh, 1K storage and you get a block storage and a block container. And this will hold one type, but it'll hold 65K of it, which is a lot. So you can see I have 521,000 lapis. That's all stored on this one. Um, this one block container that's holding all my lapis so it holds a lot and it's just tossed a 1k if you put a 1k take some iron around it you can get an encrypted 1k right click it it'll lock it and you can't put this into a system anymore but if it's like this you can so it's a good way to lock your storage and of course a walrus because why not time on the spotlight was 5:33, which is pretty good i thought i'd make it but i was a little slow um few quick notes, this is the exact amount that the lapis hold, 520192, that's all in the block container, some of it went into the 16k storage, that's why. Um, the locked cell does tell you what it belongs to, only that person can do it, and it's a shift right click, and as you can see, can't put this in. But that's it, extra cells really adds to your ME system, and it's great for storage of fluids and all that, and thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.